Mr. First. Uh, go receive the word. Pass it on. Hmm. So your first collection was in one of the New Directions anthologies, wasn't it? A sort of yeah. group of five of young men. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, One of the few sensible things that I've ever done, uh, I had begun to publish in the National Magazine as an undergraduate at Columbia, and I went abroad to it. And uh, I knew my stuff uh, was viable and so forth, but it was no good. So I decided not to print anything to it, and didn't. Uh, then uh, Rob Penlon who was running the Southern Review, uh, did a group of four point. And uh, Partisan did some, Delmore took them. And Mr. Ransom uh, had set up Kendrick, and he wrote and asked me for stuff. So I was in bed. Some of your early poems, surprisingly enough, uh, have to deal with Detroit. You talked there. I talked there for yeah, yeah. I, uh, when I came back uh, from England, I couldn't I couldn't get a job. I lived in New York for a year, and then Columbia offered me a job. Uh, but then uh, Detroit offered me a much better job. And uh, my best friend, uh, uh, a young poet named Ben Campbell, he was three years older than me, but I was very much ahead of him. And his wife. Uh, we set up a housekeeping. We shared an apartment. Uh, ben Harvard asked me, "Come and uh, uh, that Thanksgiving, I shall try to see Campbell." He had about ten days to live, and uh, he was uh, completely irrational. I grinned at me all the time, uh, looking like his own corpse, and uh, telling me not to worry, everything would be alright. As a TB patient, he had uh, was dying of cancer. Uh, what he had was embryonal adenocarcinoma grade four. Mm -hmm. And it wiped him out in about three months. Mr. Berman, in the, uh, in the early 40s... Let me tell you that. Many years later, after his death, his points were collected from the public. Nobody paid any attention to them except Donald Stover. A review them from New York Times. Maybe it sold eight copies. Many years later, I had a letter from a completely unknown character named James Dickey, who I think is one of our best writers. He knew I had known Campbell and wanted to talk about it. I said, I'm an advertising man. Yeah. You must ask me a question. <laughs> so Otherwise, I'll ramble. I don't think it would ever be rambling, really. But I do have a lot of questions. In the early 40s, you, you uh, wrote a... Uh, mention. No, I don't. I think there's something right here. Right there. Uh -huh. In the early 40s, you wrote a, a sequence of sonnets, um, yeah. 115 or so. I don't know yeah. whether you got rid of some finally. Uh, working in this, moving into this uh, terribly tight form, that this, uh, is this the kind of apprenticeship that you think was very necessary for you? 
if not necessary in general for young poets. But uh, what what did this what did working in this form do for you? Do you think? Well, not as I told you, about a quarter past four last night. Believe in apprenticeship. Suppose I want to be a composer and write piano concerti. I don't buy some music paper and sit down. I don't know what an oboe can do. Okay. Mm. So, uh, we serve in the punishment. Only, uh, only one of those poems was published, I think, before they, they finally did come out as Berryman's sonnets. Yeah. Why is it that you didn't? published them at the time. Well, <coughs> the subject was unedifying uh, since uh, the girl's man. So was that. Is unedifying the word? Well, I sat on it. Hmm. People heard about it. And I was often by Palestine. What from? But on the whole, I didn't. Until I read one of Jacques Malikan's books, it's about the relation between evil and art. He decides after twenty nine forty and fifty pages that we have to suspend judgment. We are at the mercy of what I forgot the French. The advanced man and the name of the artist a take on the sexual crop. So that the sun is gone. Mm -hmm. Not a homosexual cook. <laughs> Heterosexual maniac. <laughs> but you do believe in the advanced man, the artist. Uh, so many of your your central characters are poets, are creative people. Well, uh, including yourself in your poetry. Well, I know more about them. Uh, but the advanced man, the idea, well, no. in certain ways. Uh, point. Uh, research work uh, in the biological and natural sciences. Comes at us under various heads. Why 